I drove by all the places we used to hang out, getting wasted. I thought about the last kiss, how it felt, the way you tasted. And even though your friends tell me you're doing fine, and you're somewhere feeling lonely, even though she's right beside you. When she says those words that hurt you, do you read the ones I wrote you? Sometimes I start to wonder. Hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing this easy cut crease eyeshadow look and this bright uh, mauve plum type lip. Um, I've never done a cut crease tutorial like this. I did one before with glitter but this is a very easy, like it was super quick, very easy um, cut crease makeup look. And I used the new LA Girl, where is it, LA Girl glazed lip paints that everybody is raving about this one that I used is in blushing um, I was finally able to track one of these down um, so I was really excited to use that that's on my lips right now and um, everything else that I used on my face foundation powder all of that will be down in the description bar below um, if you're not subscribed please subscribe and I will talk to you guys later I love you guys bye so I already primed my eyelids. I'm taking a matte vanilla eyeshadow and just taking that on a base eyeshadow brush by Real Techniques. Um, just applying this literally all over the eye area, lid to um, brow bone. This is going to act as our base color. So I am taking this regular matte brown eyeliner pencil. Um, this is probably from like NYC or something. I'll put it down below. Um, but I'm just going to begin cutting my crease with this. I like to just tug on my eye a little bit because I feel like it gives me more control and it pulls the skin back so I get a nice smooth line. Then I am taking this um, crease brush. This is like the MAC 217, but I think this one's from Crown or BH. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to begin slowly diffusing that line and blending it out. So I'm just going back and touching up the outer and inner um, corners of my eye and then going back in and diffusing it again. I'm just doing this because I want it to be diffused but I still want it to be an actual cut crease so I want the line to still be visible. Um, so, you know, just going back, blending out, going back, I'm just trying not to blend out too much um, because I do want it to be a semi-sharp line, if that makes any sense. <laughs> So I'm just taking this like champagne pink um, eyeshadow. It is from Shady Lady The Balm. And I'm just going to run this all over that lid area just to give it sort of a sheen. This color really is just like it has no, no really um, specific color to it. It's just like a, again, like a champagne um, sparkly color. So I just thought that it would give the lid a little extra something because I didn't want to leave it just completely bare with that vanilla eyeshadow shade and this way I think it looked a little bit more warmer um, like more skin tone so yeah just packing that all over the lid and I think I did dra drag this into the tear duct area a little bit as well then of course taking nylon my favorite highlighting eyeshadow and applying this to my brow bone
taking cork eyeshadow on a fluffy um, crease brush I'm just applying this um, on top of that cut crease um, eyeliner that we blended out and below the brow bone just to act as a really nice transition color um, just so everything blends effortlessly together Then I'm going to create a pretty dramatic winged eyeliner um, using my Artistry Liquid Eyeliner in black. Um, I thought about using gel eyeliner today, but I just was not feeling it. This is just like the easy way for me to do my liner. So of course you can use whatever you want, but um, you don't even have to do a winged dot liner if you don't want to. But I just thought that the eyes were pretty neutral and that this look needed something to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> So I am going to tight line my eye with a black um, eyeliner pencil and then I'm going to take this and drag it underneath my lower lash line stopping about halfway. doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to take a pencil brush and blend it out just diffusing that color a little bit so it can look a little bit more smoky. I am taking this Calvin Klein one mascara. I actually got this from um, Ulta as a, a free birthday gift and look at this wand you guys. Yeah, it's retractable. I know. Crazy. Um, I've never seen a mascara that like retracts and expands. Um, so pretty cool. Then added some false lashes. I'll put the ones I used down below and then again I'm going to line my lips with Tawny's lip liner by Jordana and then I'm taking the um, LA Girl lip paint and the one I'm using is in blushing. Oh my god, I just die over this. I can't even take it. Ugh, I picked up some more colors, the red one and the dark purple or the light purple one, I guess, the very violet looking one. So I'll be um, sure to include those in some upcoming tutorials. And yeah, I am just loving this look. It's so perfect for, you know, any occasion and I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I love you guys so much. Mwah.